Hey there! Normally I am using DaVinci Resolve to do my editing because it's free and it's awesome, but when I'm not doing that, I know a pretty cool trick that lets you uh, import your image plane into Maya and edit it there directly in your graph editor. So real quick, um, you know, I just went view import image plane as normal, which brought in my movie, which is playing by default. This is me jumping off of a cliff. Let's say I want to make it so that the fall is faster. You know, we'll, we'll just make it a bit more cartoony. So what you can do is select your image plane, and by default, uh, what's making this image plane play is that the image number here comes with a, an expression on it, and that's uh, that's making this yellow. So we're going to get right uh, right click on the image number, and we're going to break connection. It's not going to play anymore, and that's great. That's what we want. The next steps are to go to your frame extension and your frame offset with your image plane selected. It's the top two attributes in your shapes. So go ahead and go to the first frame of your shot and key select it. You're keying on the frame extension because Maya automatically tries to put that expression back on this uh, attribute as soon as it realizes that it's gone. So by keying it, it won't do that. Um, the reason we're keying this is because this is what we're going to animate now to control the time and uh, and basically do the editing. So my quickest way to do this is, you know, if you're starting on one, you need to think about that and, um, or instead of 120, this would be 121 because we're starting on one. If this was zero, then you would just look at the, the frame number and make it 120. That's because we want each frame to be uh, a frame of the movie. So now jumping into the graph editor, I need to uh, find that. Um, I'm in stepped mode, so these two keys that I've added are in stepped. You can see on my last frame, it's it's uh, switching. So I'm going to turn that now into a linear curve, and you can see the image plane is basically doing what it was doing before with the expression. Um, now where it becomes a powerful tool is we can, uh, I just want to speed up this drop so I, I know that my key points are here and here. And then I'm just going to have, I can dock this so it's out of the way. So key here, key here. Now I can increase this value and it's basically just speeding up the video. So now here we're, we're seeing that it's speeding up and then it's slowing down, going much slower and then speeding up again. You know. Uh, it's just a way to visualize the timing. So I know that I want this to be at a, a relatively uh, linear rate, but I want this to speed up in here. So now, play back. It actually got a little bit slower in here. There's almost like a bit of a hang time here, which if I wanted to get rid of that, I would just make this ease less so that it just goes faster right away. Bam! And this is a great way to take your naturalistic acting and just remove a frame here and there to make things go snappier or, you know, just go full on cartoony and speed things up, slow things down. Very powerful. No need to uh, have an editing software up for this. Alright, happy animating. Thanks for watching.